everybody, I'm Sarah and I'm a recorder player. Today we are talking about dynamics on the recorder, how to do this and is it even possible? Yes, of course it is. You just have to be a little bit more subtle. The range of dynamics that the recorder can produce is a bit smaller than other instruments, but that doesn't have to hinder us. While it's true that the recorder does have a smaller dynamic range than some other instruments like the piano or the saxophone, dynamics is just one parameter in music. Now, we use dynamics to um, create contrast or expression, but there are so many other parameters that the recorder excels at, like note shaping, sound colour, articulation, the speed at which you can play, microtones. But good, we're here for dynamics today. Let's look at the problem. How do you create louder and softer on a wind instrument? Well, you blow more or less. But what happens when you blow more and less on a recorder? That's right, the pitch goes up and down, meaning if you go really extreme with your dynamics, you're in serious danger of going out of tune. Not to worry, I'm here to show you four different ways in which you can create a whole dynamic range with your recorder. We just have to be subtle, we're suggesting the dynamics rather than slapping you in the face with them. Method number one is actually blowing more and less, blowing louder and softer. I've got a bit of Telemann Fantasia number five here. I'm gonna play a few bars, first loud and then soft through my breath, and then we're gonna hear how that sounds. We notice two things, it's horrendously out of tune and the tone colour isn't very nice. Now it is possible to create dynamics by blowing harder and softer, but you're going to need to compensate the pitch with your fingers. How does this work? Now if you blow louder, the pitch goes up, so you want to add a finger to bring it back down again. Likewise, if you're going to blow softer, I would recommend slightly leaking a finger because that is going to bring the pitch back up again. This takes some practice to do without wobbling all over the place, but that is the idea. And what you can also do is take an alternative fingering. Um, a soft alternative is um, a fingering that sounds higher and you bring your breath pressure down to get it back in tune again, thus making it softer. I would say this adding fingers and leaking fingers is most useful on long notes when you either want to create a swelling in the middle, mesa de voce, or you want to create a diminuendo. Let's practice this. Take a nice stable fingering and we're gonna get louder and softer, compensating with your finger. What you also wanna practice is a diminuendo ending, getting softer. So you're gonna take your fingering and the lowest finger is gradually gonna leak air as you drop your breath pressure. This is gonna take a lot of practice and don't be afraid to be really, really critical with your listening. Okay, I can hear you saying, that's great for a long note, but do I have to do all of these complicated fingerings in a fast passage, for example? No, you don't. Let's look at another way of doing dynamics. The second way is with your sound colour. You can actually really influence the way your recorder sounds with the way you blow. For example, you could use a really wide, slow airstream to create a louder sound because it's gonna make a lot more overtones within your recorder. Don't ask me how, I'm not a physicist. So first you wanna create a slow airstream by breathing warm air onto your hand. That sound is gonna be really resonant and appears a lot louder than if you use a very thin, fast airstream. To get this, blow a thin stream of cold air onto your hand. These are real, real 
little subtleties and in the beginning it might be like what is she doing but it can really help to shape your music and if you want to make it even louder you can add some vibrato <sighs> This is a great way of emphasizing a note without bringing the whole pitch up. So we're gonna to listen to our Telemann example again, first with a pure, thin, fast airstream, then with a big, warm, resonant airstream and a bit of vibrato. Maybe that just in itself isn't the most musical version, but it's to give you an idea of what's possible. After blowing more or less and sound colour, we get to the length of the notes. The recorder excels in articulation because there's nothing in the way we can literally speak with our instrument and the length of your note can have a great deal to do with your dynamics. Simply put, if you make the note shorter, there's less sound coming out, so it will appear softer. If you make the notes very legato, there is more sound being created, which gives the impression of loudness. I said we'd be suggesting it, didn't I? And the use of long and short is especially good in fast passages. Compare these two. the same but the second one sounded louder because the notes were longer and the length of the note is how you end it of course it's very important how you begin it the articulation to make the dynamic appear louder you could start with a really strong articulation and to make it softer you could even not use articulation but And all of this is especially useful when you have repeated passages. Often we play the second one softer to make it into an echo. Telemann Fantasia number seven. And the last parameter we can use to influence the dynamics is timing. Obviously we're not gonna play our phrases robotically in time but you place notes slightly earlier or later according to your feeling to make it musical. According to Karl von Steinhoven, before 1800, placing a note early made it softer and placing it late made it louder and more marked. But later on, after 1800, uh, an early note was loud and hectic and a, a later note was soft and peaceful. That was a mouthful. Okay, I'm gonna try and demonstrate this and let's see. I'm first gonna play the end of the phrase early and soft. And now late and loud. And now early and loud. And now late and soft. What do you think? I don't really have a clear answer for you on that one, but it's interesting to know, and why not try it out for yourself? So I'm gonna try something with all of these four parameters, the amount you're blowing, your sound color, your timing, and your length of notes and articulation. I'm gonna try and play a short phrase, first loud and then soft, but still musical. I've been standing here playing phrases of Telemann for a long time now and I still haven't found a version that I'm completely happy with but that is the amazing thing about making music you have endless possibilities at your fingertips 
I hope this video has been able to give you a starting point for a lot of different ways of exploring dynamics. Um, really take the time to get into this, you will be very happy for it. A quick plug of my CD, my debut album Constellations is out now in my web shop on iTunes and on Amazon, all links in the description. Thank you to everybody who's ordered it so far. As always you can subscribe to my channel by clicking on my face down here in the corner. Down here is a link to the Team Recorder Patreon where you can choose to support the the channel if you wish and up here is a link to a video on alternative fingerings good for playing soft thanks for watching and have a great day